Hello everyone, Crimtastic here, and today I have a video jam-packed with five awesome mods. We're going to be looking at some gun mods, as well as a melee weapon mod, as you can see, and an armor mod. So we're going to start with the armor mod. This is standalone Eisenplatt armor for CBBE by Konasama, which is a port from the Caress Skyrim mod. Uh, if you played Skyrim, you no doubt have seen this high-quality armor mod. I know I personally used it for a very long time, and now it's been ported to Fallout 4, so you can run around in your plate armor. Now, this does come with a lot of variations, so let's look at those now. This one that I am wearing is the full version. This is the armor with the skirt and side pieces on as well as the boots and the gloves which are actually just the bracers the base model of the armor does not have the skirt or the side pieces and there is also a version that only comes with the side pieces as well as one version that has only the skirt. In addition, all of these options are also available in white, in case you're a fan of white armor and not black. Each of the pieces of the armor is also available to be fitted with ballistic weave, which is what I have on here. Moving on to our weapon mods, our first mod is Claymore Sword by the Rizzler One. This is a really nice looking two-handed sword that has been added to the game for all of you melee lovers, and I thought it went perfectly with our armor mod for this week. Uh, there are no mods, however, the sword has a pretty decent attack stat, which will only be raised based on your perks. Our second weapon mod is Crude Blowback by ASXAS, or Axas, or whatever he wants to be called. The name's on the screen. This is a gun that is based on Fallout 4 concept art that never came to be. It is highly customizable, uh, although the amount of mods are pretty moderate, but you can make this into whatever kind of gun you want to. There are six receivers. We can also change the ammo to 38 or 308. So I think we'll make this into a semi-automatic. Uh, no, let's make this an automatic, because we're going to have other semi-automatic guns. There are two barrel options, long and short. Three stocks. four magazines, six sight options, and four muzzle options. Our third weapon mod for today is the Ares Predator V by Demetius. This is a really cool looking pistol that helps to break up the monotony of some of the other guns in the game. The only thing I'm a little iffy about is the fact that all of the edges are worn evenly, so it sort of looks like the gun has a white outline. Uh, but other than that, the wear and tear effect on this gun looks really good, and it's definitely something that you'd love to use. It has 15 receivers, with the option to become automatic if you so choose. The option to have a laser sight on or off. Three grips. Four magazines. And four sight options. 
including a recon scope. And our last weapon mod for today is Hero's Revolver by Army AJ28. This is a custom recreation of McCree's Revolver from the game Overwatch. And as you can see, Army AJ28 did a fantastic job. And if you want to pretend to be McCree in Fallout, this is the mod for you. Although it doesn't have a lot of mods, the Hero's Revolver still is a good pistol. There are 10 receivers. You can also make it 50 caliber if you so choose. There's only one barrel option. There are two grips and one sight option. So we're here in the middle of nowhere to test out these guns and there's an explosion over here so that's the way I'm gonna run. Man, that unintentional rhyme. What do we got over here? Huh? Oh, wait, where's the gunner? Oh. There's stuff going on everywhere. Hey, freeze! So, the hero's revolver is a little slow, but that's because it's a revolver. As you can see, the Eisenplatt armor is doing a great job of protecting me. Ooh, what do you have? Oh, a DKS-501 sniper rifle. We've looked at that. Alright, let's switch it up. Let's try out the sword. Get over here. So we're actually doing really good damage to this legendary raider. What the hell? Where'd you come from? Did she just have a baby? Ooh, a freezing super sledge. And you get those nice blood textures on the sword. Definitely a plus. Now let's try out the Ares V. Who are we looking at? Hey, how you doing? How would you like to die? It's a very nice handling pistol. It's really easy to use. Not really any delay between shots. The damage is pretty moderate, even with the best receiver. But you don't want a pistol to be too overpowered anyway. Let's check out the crude blowback. Now if you recall, I did make this an automatic weapon, uh, but to balance out the fact that it had good damage, the automatic is kind of slow, so it's more like a light machine gun. It's also very hard to control full auto. There's a fair bit of recoil. But 
the gun really gets the job done. And it's just a really cool gun with the fact that you can customize it the way you can. So that's it for today's mods, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing for more videos like this. But until next time, thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.